Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Breaking news. Canon has retaliated with the release of the Canon C80. Oh, no, 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 no. It's never, ever, 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 ever gonna happen. At 5,005. Um, a lot more people can actually go for it. Um, I can see a lot of C70 owners, you know, you know, replacing that or upgrading or turning the C70 to a big camera to something like the C80. Now the C80 is, in my opinion, a, you know, designed in Canon's mind to be a backup for the C400, like a big camera. So you might want to do one C400 and one or two more C80s. So that's 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 what I think is the idea. So you could actually buy together. And I see a lot of people, a lot of studios, a lot of production houses buying both at the same time. But is it for me? Um, yes, I think... Uh, it is right in my lane. The C80 is right in my lane for, you know, production, short movies, commercials, uh, for my YouTube channel and stuff like that. They are designed as workhorses. You know, those are machines. Those are, you know, they are built like a tank. Sun, moon, rain, dust, they can stand the test of time. So that's a production horse and I can depend on it. Um, I'm still not decided on what camera to shoot my feature on. For now, I, I have my eyes on the um, Blackmagic Cine 12K, um, as it's still reachable, it's not too expensive, but anything can happen at any time. That's a thought for the future. I'm not rushing to buy that right now because I'm not uh, exactly ready for my movie yet, but I'm ready to make a shot um which is actually going to be you know excerpts from the movie uh okay let me tell you the other choices uh in my mind um full frame yes i definitely want to shoot full frame in this one i already have the the sony fx3 full frame that is an option but um I'm really, really thinking about the Black Magic, the Pixies uh, 6K. Like I was trying to shoot in a, a car, a car scene. Um, it's easy to lose the dynamic range for the Sony. Like when faced with some harsh light, I think the S-Log is not just strong enough to hold it. I think uh, I might need to go on ProRes RAW for such needs. But I expect that, you know... It, it, should, it will be able to handle that. I, I mean, it, it probably can, but I will have to do a lot of lighting, a lot of blocking, a lot of uh, making this the the atmosphere conducive for the camera to shine. Um, that I would not have to sacrifice for if I'm doing a black magic. Um, so I'm really thinking about the pixies. While I, while I was deciding, I was trying to make a decision between those. Here comes Canon C. 80 and making me even more confused like this is right in my alley it does everything including time code it settles all the boxes that i have the contentions i have between both like seriously it comes with with internal NDs, which is my gripe with both cameras right now sony and the pixies because it doesn't come with the internal ND like the Pocket um, 6K Pro. A sweet spot. The only limitation I saw there, which wasn't a problem to me, is the frame rate, which is at 30. Well, for my shot or my feature, I am not going to be using all that. Um, however, the SD card will be a drawback for me, as I do not, as I do not know yet what... Um, what recording capacity that can bring or what limitations it can bring having autofocus and nobody else to full focus that would definitely be of great help so i mean that's where the fx3 shines meanwhile there's no internal nd now i tried the internal nd 
from the uh, Mikey, not the internal. It's not internal, but it's the dropping filter. Um, I wasn't feeling it. I tried just the first try though, but um, I've not really seen reviews on it. I've not checked probably, but I just thought I, I already have it. Why not figure it out for myself? But when I tried it, it was like, yeah, I didn't get the vibe on the picture. Like the, like the ND quality was good enough. But more to come on that. So, um, but just check out the pictures from both cameras, you know. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm taking a look at, you know, the images from both cameras. I'm loving them, but I don't know what to, to say right now. It's, it's awesome what I'm seeing. Um, I particularly, I'm tilted for the price and for the quality I see. Mm, I'm tempted with the Black Magic uh, Pixies, um, but I know with the uh, right circumstances, the FX3 can do the same with the right, you know, um, with the right setup and you know lighting and doing all the glorious stuff like uh, feeding the camera what it needs to shine. It will shine, but at what cost i know that i'm still struggling to to get what i want from the fx3 you know uh which i which will be effortless so i, I mean i'm i will have to go through an fs3 master class to be able to get all i need you know and i i don't think i have the time to do that i'm ready to go on the black magic right now even if i've just bought it the same day i i can get pick the camera and I'm, I know I can make it work and I know I won't, you know, be confused or feel challenged or go watch up, you know, quick look up a uh, YouTube video so I can know how to uh, get what I want, you know, but uh, for the Blackmagic, you know, almost any of the Blackmagic cameras, I will be able to uh, get, get along. So I'm still deciding. Um, you guys, I love to hear what you think, you know, looking at the clips from the Black Magic and the uh, kind of C80. What do you guys think? What would you suggest? Um, judging by what I said, you know, um, whatever you can, whatever words you can, you know, you could talk for yourself and say what you're going to do, what you like and all that. I might get a hint from that, but. I say something guys don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel um yeah pretty much if you're interested in stuff like this uh then you join on jump in and let's uh let's make videos let's make shots let's make movies let's share information let's share knowledge and then learn and grow together all right, guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.